Would you date someone who doesn't share your political views? Seems like you've pulled away since I told you I'm a Republican. We often form our political views based on our community and the way that we were raised. So it's true there are some benefits to exposing yourself to other perspectives and breaking out of your own echo chamber. It's also true that extreme partisanship can keep us from finding any common ground we do still share. But to be honest, you're in good company if you don't want to snuggle up to a political opponent. The number of women prioritizing politics over sex and dating doubled from 2016 to 2018. Nearly half of women across the country are more interested in a protest partner than a pants-off pal. One in 10 Americans have actually broken up with someone for their political views. That might be more Americans who've broken up with someone because of politics than because of big spoon, little spoon disagreements, watching the last episode of a TV show without your significant other, or how to say GIF. GIF. GIF? Or is it GIF? It's GIF. So in our show, Good Trouble, should my character Callie feel bad for pulling away? Maybe not. Someone more traditional, like your grandma, might ask why political affiliation is such a big deal in dating. Also, why haven't you given her great grandbabies yet? Ugh. Well, she has a right to wonder, why can't we respect other people's viewpoints and compromise? Well, American politics have changed dramatically in the past few decades. Both parties have gotten more radical in their views. We used to share more common ground. So many political issues these days are also moral issues. And it makes sense that we want to date people who share similar morals with us. I mean, would a scientist date a flat earther? Now that would be a love story for the ages. <laughs> of course, there are gray areas, and a disagreement about economic policy might not be breakup worthy. What I don't understand is how you could have so many progressive points of view but still call yourself a Republican. Don't say you're a fiscal conservative because deficits have grown the most under Republican presidents. It's great if you want to be challenged by a dramatically different romantic partner. And who knows, maybe you'll even change their minds. In the past five years, 13% of partisans have switched their party affiliation. You are right. You know, if I don't believe in what the party stands for in this moment, I shouldn't be a part of it. However, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't mean I'm turning into a liberal. But seriously, I'm, I'm open to listening. If you are. Still, remember that political values are not an absolute and that it's okay to change your stance on issues. At the end of the day, insights to other point of views aren't sexually transmitted. You don't need to bone to get it. You can just talk to other people and try to listen. Have you ever dated someone with different political beliefs? Tell us how it went in the comments. Share this video if you get why people aren't dating across the aisle.